Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here with another new CCNA and CSENT 5 minute video bootcamp for you. Today is spotting non-root switches in the wild. Because it's not just important to be able to spot our root switches, we got to spot non-roots as well. Let's go ahead and start the timer. You can see I just put countdown timer there. I got kind of tired and didn't want to type the N. It's important in production networks and of course for our certification exams to be able to identify the root switches but it's also important to be able to identify our non-roots because sometimes we're going to have switching features you'll learn about in your CCNP studies in particular. Uh, some things you're going to want to put on your root switches, some things you're going to want to put on all switches, and occasionally put them on your non-root switches. So it's important to be able to tell whether you're working on a root or not. And there are four different ways to identify a root and a non-root and we're going to do that on live equipment right now and if you want to stop the video and see first off if you can determine if this is the root for VLAN 10 or not that's a great idea and you should know all four ways to tell that so if you want to pause the video and work on that for a few minutes that's a great idea but we're going to move forward because in networking as in real life it's not just what you see but it's what you don't see there's something here on this non-root switch that you do not see that you will see on the root and that is the phrase this bridge is the root you're going to see that in this information next to root ID because this is the information talking of course about the root bridge itself and then you've got bridge ID and that is always going to be information about the local switch the switch that we're actually on so if you don't see that little magic phrase this bridge is the root under root ID you're not on the root so that's one down. There are three other ways to tell that we are not on the root. And the next one has to do with the root ID and the bridge ID as well. Always check out the MAC address. Because if the MAC address is different under the root ID information and under the bridge ID information, that means that you are not on the root. So that's two right there. Before we proceed, give me just about 20 seconds here of your time. I don't put ads in the videos uh, or the paid ads like for Geico and all that, but I want to mention something to you. It's time sensitive, so I'm going to put it in the middle of this instead of the end. From July 21st through 31st only, and that's in 2014, sign up for any paid CCNA, CSENT, or CCNP course on this page, and I'll link it to it at the end of the video as well. And I'm going to give you membership in my CCNA Security Video Boot Camp absolutely free. That means you can get your CCNA and your CCNA certifications with me for $44. Bucks. I'll put, show you the link again at the end of the video. Always use the Bulldog 44 coupon code. It's going to give you the best price. Now let's hop back to this video. We're in these two. We've got the first two things down. That we don't see the phrase, this bridge is the root. And we also see different MAC addresses under root and bridge ID. Another thing to look out for, and this kind of tripped me up a little bit when I first started studying Cisco Technologies, you don't see root ports on a root switch. And that sounds odd, right? You think, well, if it's a root bridge, then all of the ports are going to be roots. Actually, they're not. None of them are going to be. Because the root port is the one that leads to the root switch. That's how we're going to get there from the local switch. Well, if the bridge, if the switch itself is the root, it doesn't need a root port to get to itself. <laughs> that sounds odd, I, I certainly grant you. Uh, but you will only see root ports for a VLAN on non-root switches. One more thing that you're only going to see on the non-root, and that is some blocked ports. In this case, there's one BLK right there. The other one is forwarding. But on a root switch itself, all of your ports for that VLAN are going to be in forwarding mode. I've got a follow-up video that I'm going to make for this one that where we're going to concentrate on being on a root switch, and you'll see that in action. But let's go back to the board because I want to review all four of those with you. They're all very important. First off, if you're on the root, then you're going to see this bridge as the root. Secondly, if you don't see any root ports, you know you're on the root switch itself. Three, the designated ports are all going to be in forwarding mode and four, the same MAC address and root ID and bridge ID. These are the four indications that you're on the root. We didn't see any of those on this switch, so we know definitely that we were not on the root. That is it for today's CCNA and CSENT video bootcamp. I'm Chris Bryan. I'll see you out on YouTube and Udemy. And just for fun, let's see how much time we had left.
Oh, 17 seconds. I owe you. I'll give it to you next time. See you then.